Welcome everyone to the latest edition of How to Machinima, where I'll be teaching you how to make the finest of all machinima. Today's lesson will be lesson 3, Lighting. In this lesson I'll be teaching you how to make your machinima characters fit into their matted backgrounds using lighting sources from Model Viewer. So let's begin, shall we? In this tutorial you're going to need Model Viewer and Map Viewer, and an editor of some sort. I'll use Premiere for this tutorial, which has some features I'm going to cover later. What you'll find is that most characters in Model Viewer are all lit the same, but may stick out in certain places when matted in. Like Fugly Guido here. I look fugly? You do too, idiot. I see it all the time in many machinimas, and here's how you can make it all the more better. Let's say that Guido here needs to be placed in the deep run tram. He sticks out like a sore thumb, and looks much brighter than the background. So what we need to do is a model viewer, select show light control under view. This gives us a list of items to change, such as ambient, diffuse, and specular highlight light light button. Say that five times fast. Changing any one of these gives you the option for the color you want. Ambient light covers everything on the target. Diffuse depends on the angle of the light to cover the target, adjusted here with spot enabled. And specular light bounces off anything shiny on our character. Guido will be fired for this. What, because I don't have anything shiny? So now you can you know, mess around, see what you can get, see find if you can get in some great looking stuff. For this, well, let's light Guido in the tram area. It's dark in there, so let's try some gray and blacks. Cool. It's looking mighty fine now. Now go ahead and capture what you want and toss it into your editing program. And you should be able to good to go. Now this works with almost anything. Say we want you know, Guido in the fires of Mount Doom. Reds and oranges. Done. Say we want Guido to be underwater. Blues and greens. Done. And that's it. Hey, don't you dare forget about me. Another cool thing is that once Guido's in our editing program, you can still mess with his lighting. In Premiere, at least, you have options such as brightness and contrast. But I like to use a filter called lighting effects. Basically, it gives you an option to light a 2D plane with an exposure limit, making the image pop out with light or limit it without. It works great and works almost better than darkening of Guido in the tram. Right, Guido? Oh, oops. Well, there's more where that came from. Ah, that's better. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.